Hello fam. As the release of the Ghost Runner 2 was approaching, I thought why not ace the first one. So today I have for you a full clean gameplay of the original, with no hits, no HUD, no music. It's partially a speedrun, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And as for the sequel, I got myself the Brutal Edition, which means I'll have 48 hours of early access to the game. So if you want to watch the action as soon as it drops, make sure to stick around and subscribe to the channel. But for now, enjoy the OG. Peace out. I'll handle things from here on. You're alive. Can you hear me? They are already looking for you. implants are still adjusting to the software. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. It'll have to suffice for now. The uprising is finished. Keymaster has won. A trespasser spotted at Metro Station. This is bad. I'll have to fight your way out of here. The air ducts lead to another sector. God! Your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. You can use acceleration while in the air. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Initiating the sensory boost. These sewers... It's only a matter of time before they breach the doors to my cell. Find me before they get inside. Dome on lockdown. Each door has a built-in lockdown chip. Disabling them will unlock the doors. A trespasser spotted in the area. Lockdown lifted. Go. Prison towers up ahead. Hope you're not afraid of heights. That beats you. I've got to hold you much longer. Find myself. There's little time. Take care of the guards first. Prisoner termination protocol initiated. Prisoner threat level extremely high. Prisoner released. Free at last. Pleasure to meet you. Face to face, that is. Now, let's take a look inside. This may feel a little strange. Welcome to Cybervoid. Time to fix you up. You can talk here, by the way. Who are you? You can call me Architect. Who am I? 
You're a ghost runner. Number 74, to be precise. That will have to do for now. Your physical body is vulnerable. Time runs slower here, but we should still hurry. Just keep moving. I will take care of your recalibration. I remember a fight. Others like me. A fall. You've been cast down from Dharma City to the base district. It's a miracle to survive a fall like that. Even for someone like you. A ghost runner. Yes. You were bodyguards, peacekeepers, arbitrators, and anything else we needed you to be. You tried to stop the coup. There was a woman. The name is Mara, or the Keymaster, as she calls herself now. Twenty years ago, she stood against me. It was you I was trying to save. You failed. I died. My body did, anyway. Thanks to the precautions I had taken, I'm still here. Although this form has its limitations. Are you an AI? You could say that. You could also say Dharma Tower is a skyscraper. Technically correct. What is the tower, then? Humanity's home. A megastructure that once housed a million. It had been under my care since its creation. Almost a century ago. I served the people, kept them safe. Maintained the shelter I provided. But Mara had her own plan. She became the sole ruler of Dharma Tower. Ruining what I've built, bringing us back to the verge of extinction. Why can't this place be normal? Oh, it's perfectly normal. It's you that has become incompatible. The incompetent prepares you were subjected to made you divergent. You no longer function like a ghost runner is supposed to. But we'll change that. Who repaired me? That would be the Climbers. A group of rebels that tried to oppose Mara. Where are they? Dead, I'm afraid. They'd been killed. Our first stop is one of the few remaining Cybervoid mainframes. Located in an old mining tower, we can use it to correct the corrupted parts of your code. And hopefully... Restore your more sophisticated functions. Hopefully. There's no guarantee the data will be intact, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm. How can you assist me? In combat, I'm afraid I can't. Cybervoid Remnant is the only medium I can interact with. I will be able to help you with your upgrades once we find the mainframe. Apart from that, just think of me as a voice in your head. One that you should listen to if you want to stay alive. Keymaster Guard is patrolling the area. They may have located the mainframe. Can they use it? No, but they can destroy it, like they did to most of the Cybervoid hardware. This is Zoe Avila of the Climbers. Please, can anybody hear me? Anybody? This is... Ghost Runner. The Ghost Runner? Jack, you're awake! Yes. How? We've been rebuilding you for months. We tried everything we could to wake you up, but you never won. It wasn't up to me. Frame we're after 
used to run all of the Sector 5's operations. That's where we are, in case you were wondering. They're closing in on the server room. Hurry! Can't it be accessed remotely? They wouldn't be here if it could. Cyber Void has been fractured, broken into countless disconnected pieces. It's like puddles of water left over after the lake has been drained. This is it. Jump in. This place again. This place is where we'll find the means to fight our enemy. What do I do? It's in your instincts to navigate the cyber void. In most cases, you'll just have to focus on finding the right direction. After you're done with this particular jumble of code, you'll gain fire. Excellent. Sometimes you will need to close in and attack simultaneously. Let me give you something to aim at. Oh, my perfect form. Once more. Take a breath. Picture your Yes, you got it. The enemies won't line up for you. Adapt to their move. Splendid. You can even use this technique to cut through projectiles. Give it a try. Very convenient, is it not? Clean up the stragglers and we can proceed. I'll just leave. No! We've worked hard to reconnect this node to the network. If they destroy it, we'll be affected. We? Let me put it another way. I cannot exist without Cyber Void. And you cannot exist without me. Fine. is Dharma's foundation in more than one sense. It is the lifeblood of the tower's economy. Back in the Golden Age, there were enough goods produced here to satisfy the needs of all the residents. Of course, the upper levels had certain privileges. During Mara's coup, many of the facilities were damaged. Things have been in slow decline ever since. Nowadays, the area mostly serves as warehouses or gang hideouts, and a reminder of what Dharma used to be. Which is? Home. A safe haven for the survivors of the apocalypse. You built this whole place? I conceived it, designed it, and built it. I am the architect. sector's main factory complex. Hello? Jack, can you hear me? Why Jack? Right. You wouldn't know. It's a code name we used for you during the repairs. Diego said you were all jacked up when he found you and stuck. Do you mind if I call you that? No. All set. I've put together some gear. Once I plug in my Atma, I'll be able to monitor the key's communications and keep you updated. Atma? Atma chip. The standard neural implant. You must have heard of them. Basically simplified versions of your own Cortex interface. I'm gonna connect to your visual feed so I can guide you better. Can you grant me access? And... I'm in. Seeing the world from your perspective will make things much easier. So you're going up to Dharma City. Yes. Well, first you have to get through the base, and much has changed since you've been gone. 
There is no law here anymore. Just the Keymaster's goons. Pushing everyone around and shouting orders. You didn't obey. Some of us didn't. You had visited the base often in the past. Towards the end of our time, this place became overrun with criminals. The ghost runners kept them at bay until Mara took over. These factories, everything they produce goes straight up to Dharma City. While the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury, we basers work our fingers to the bone our whole lives and don't see any of it. How did you survive? When I was little, we were given basic provisions, but each year we'd get less and less. If not for the black market, we would have all starved by now. The Keymaster keeps taking while giving nothing back. So you chose to fight? Not much of a choice, really. Efficiency of Dharma City hydroponic farms dwindles. Soon, even the upper levels will suffer. Mara can't feed everyone. Even if she wanted to. Some decided to fight back. My parents, their friends, Saul. They weren't afraid to speak up against Mara and remind us that things used to be different. The resistance started because some of us remember the time before the Keymaster. Why this title? Supposedly, she wanted to unlock our chains. Set us free. <laughs> yeah, right. Free from the Architect. Probably. They're all heading towards Amada Station. Getting to the elevators is gonna be tricky. Wait. Why? Some of their units just changed course. They're... Coming back? Not exactly. Give me a minute. The climbers were always out of their depth, even at full force. Why you believe she can be of help is beyond me. She wants... The air filtering facility is just ahead. Why is Mara doing this? It's punishment for rebelling against her. She wants to make an example of us, to keep the other sectors in line. Sometimes even your current speed won't be enough. Look for cyber void uplinks to temporarily disable safety limiters and increase acceleration. Use them sparingly, though. You don't want to damage yourself. What are these uplinks? Think of them as loose cables you can grab onto for extra power, although they can be much more dangerous than electricity. Why are they here? They're what's left of cyber void infrastructure. At one point, the terminals were everywhere. Now, we must make do with scraps. The small turbines are responsible for internal circulation. It's the big one we have to worry about. It's still on? For now. There are keys everywhere. Won't they die as well? Either they all have breathing gear, or they have no idea what's going on. The Keymaster recruits the most violent. Not the brightest. They could have just destroyed the filters. As long as the installation remains intact, the contamination is reversible. The Keymaster cares less about lives and more about production lines. I keep trying to contact the other climbers, get help. No luck so far. Maybe they're laying low. Maybe. They're quite literally laying low, on the ground, dead. How do you know? I've seen the bodies. Some cameras around the base are still operational. The climbers have been expunged. They turned off the main rotor, but there's still time to restart it. Show me the way. The people are weak and desperate. They need us to lead them, not the other way around. Ready yourself for what's coming. You can't afford to be distracted. My memory is not coming back. There's no guarantee it ever will. Don't worry. I'm here to tell you everything you need to know. Making the outside air breathable is a complicated process. It has to be done without compromising Dharma's outer integrity. The burst made a mess of the Earth's atmosphere. The filtering systems were designed to be durable and virtually foolproof. Unless, of course, some fool decides to turn them off. 
Slow down. This one is different. How? One way to find out. Close combat implants. Crude ones. I've managed to take some measurements, Jack. It's not looking good. The level of radiation in the air is rapidly increasing. People will soon feel the effects. Evacuate the sector. Get as many civilians as I can to go to fourth and sixth before it's too late. Stay put. I'll make it. It's no use anyway. The gates are locked tight. No one's getting out. Mara's delusional. Not stupid. by the minute. Radioactive dust concentration is already 50 times above normal. <coughs> Hold on. Don't worry. Facers are tough. I'll be fine as long as you bring the filters back online. And so will everyone. This is Cyberboid Tech. Yes. But this terminal is an inconsequential one. Hacking this will do us as much good as hacking a refrigerator. What is Cyberboid? A medium, a fabric, that binds all of Dharma's systems together. Or rather, that's what it used to be. Now it's just remnants, slivers of a greater whole. This is your domain, but I do all the work. I told you, I can't work from your side. There's a barrier between us, a divide that shouldn't be there. And believe me, not bad. You're beginning to adjust. All done. You saved the day. Now you can get back to more important matters. You did it! Thank you, Jack. The people of Sector 5 owe you their lives. I'm so glad we found you. How did you find me? Sheer luck. You were buried in a scrap heap at the bottom of a derelict shaft. You fell a long way, didn't you? Feels like it. The climbers finding you was a one in a million chance. Most of the missing ghost runners were located by Mara. Destroyed. Most. A few are still unaccounted for. I really wish you'd been there when they came for us. What happened? Key surprised us at the hideout. Kicked down the door out of nowhere. Then we ran. I got separated. How does the Keymaster maintain control? She turns us against each other. The Guard recruits the most brutal and reckless facers and feels gang wars between the rest. Divide and conquer. I guess Mara picked up a trick or two by watching me for the years. The Keys are boarding the elevators to the city. I wish they'd all just go away and never come back. The guys you're fighting are the rear guard. You could wait them out and continue on once they've gone. No need. Uh, sure. It's almost scary how little they can do to stop you. I just wonder how safe we are. I worry that the Keymaster will send in more troops to finish the job later. There'll be no later for Mara.
stopping this machine. It should come to you naturally. That was easy. These motors were made with Atma chips in mind. Base engineers were able to control them with their thoughts. Like you did. Just now, you have to get to Amida Station fast. We can't give Mara time to prepare. She had 20 years. It's not about what she can do to stop us. It's about what she can do to everyone else in the meantime. You care about the people, don't you? Do you? I've accessed the local network node. We should know what their latest plan is doing. with their transmission. Confuse them a little. You can do that? I'm no computer genius, but their system begs to be hacked. Besides, Atma makes it easy. The neural implant. Yeah. Everyone had them before the coup. And now? They're not mandatory anymore, but most people have them. Especially people with limb implants like me. Done. They just received orders to stop boarding the elevators and stand by. This will buy you enough time to get there. Right. Keymaster knows that Amida is where we'll strike. They'll be ready. No other way up? There's one more operational station, but getting there will take you hours. You could climb all the way to the city, but that will require even more time. also have these brain chips? Yes. Everyone born before the coup. Why? Can they be hacked? I... No, I don't think so. Not by her. reaching the upper station. Better jump right in. Cyber void time dilation works in your favor, but you still don't have forever. The elevators will soon be beyond our reach. Need I remind you that the clock is ticking? Hurry it up. This place is impossible to navigate. Good. These firewalls are what's kept me alive for the last 20 years. Cheer up. If you were a regular human, this would make even less sense.
Interesting. Looks like there's a little something extra in the elevator's security scanner buffer. A little something? A partial Ghost Runner neural scan. We can use it to enhance your programming. Why is it there? One of you must have used Amida Elevator right before Marl's insurgents disabled the internal security. Another Ghost Runner. It could have been you. Focus energy in your left hand and then let it all out. What? Don't try to think. Do yes, it's just a visualization anyway. How does it work in the real world? Rapid micro vibrations of your inner hydraulics. Sudden change in local pressure will result in a concentrated blast. Let's hope that piece of junk the climbers use to replace your arm can handle it. The primary application was crowd control, non-lethal force. Of course, there's no need to restrain ourselves now. One more thing. You can use Tempest to reflect projectiles. Give it a try. Like that. Just a bit more practice and we're done. Exquisite. Splendid. That's all there is to it. We're good. The keys are gone and the elevators are ours. Time to go up. Our next target lies in the heart of Dharma City. Elevators are coming back. You'll be able to board shortly. Any security systems inside? I don't really know. Only the keys use the elevators nowadays, mostly to send resources up or bring reinforcements down. Civilians aren't allowed anywhere near, unless they're being escorted to the city. Prisoners? Yes. Men. Women. Children. Their only crime? Getting caught. Where are they taken? I'm not sure, but no one ever comes back. coming. It's... I don't know what it is, but it looks... better see where it comes. That's Tom. Tom. Laser Array TO-73M is a mouthful. Oh. This is troublesome. How do I disable it? First, you should get on top. You could probably cut it down. It won't hold without the supporting cords. Now you bring up the defense system. I had no idea Mara managed to bring it back online. I can't even... I had no idea something like this existed. Keep moving. The bigger they are... doing. The core is now exposed. You'll be able to shut it down for good. If you can get close enough, that is. 
Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. Have a safe trip. Please leave the station in an orderly fashion. As expected, it was no match. Wow. Watching from your perspective, I nearly pissed myself. I'm betting being there in person was a thousand times worse. Yes. I can fool the display panels. While the keys are waiting for you at Upper Amida, I'll redirect the elevator. This is the city. Wow. You've never been here? No. I told you. The Keymaster only allows those loyal to her. And only a chosen few. Mara strictly controls the flow of resources between the city and the base. Food, water, people. The girl means well, but she's out of her depth. You need to stop relying on her. I rely on myself. Where are all the civilians? It seems like there's a curfew in effect. Turns out people here are just as oppressed as the basers. Was that your plan? To attack Dharma City? Yes. Until today, we thought we were ready. What were you waiting for? You. We thought once you awakened, you'd lead us to victory. Help us break free and avenge the Architect. I'm touched. So... What's your plan to defeat the Keymaster? I mean, last time you faced her, you were one of a hundred Ghost Runners. How do you know that? My father. I was only two when the coup happened, but he told me all about it. So many died back then. With all the Ghost Runners gone, there was no one to protect us. So, back to my question. It's not that I doubt you, but are you sure you can take on the Keymaster by yourself? No. into chaos. Decades of my hard work. To encourage the girl. Gratitude, empathy, pity. You're not supposed to feel any of those. You don't talk much, huh? Still, it's good to hear your voice. I've been trying to make it happen for a year. Thank you. Words only dull ideas. A mind as sharp as a blade has little to gain from idle chatter.
barge in there. If it has what we need, it's our last stop before Marl's lab. This, to protect a public archive. Knowledge is power. And the information we're after was anything but public. The GR project started out as a military contract, and ended up being our most ambitious undertaking. Our? Mara took part in the design process. I told you, we were associates. is not there but the server's intact impossible unless that interference from earlier was it's after it Who was that? It's your counterpart. Get after it. We need that data. Cameras, motion sensors, body scanners. They don't see. That's why we were called Ghost Runners. I've had it all this time? Of course. How else do you think you've avoided fighting Mara's entire arm all at once? It's speeding up, heading towards the tower's core. Going back to Mara. It's getting away. At this rate, it will reach the core before you can intercept. Find me a shortcut. Working on it. You could catch a train. They have Venture Tube here, same as the base. And one is just arriving at the station to your left. Got it. Just hop on. The train should be empty. It isn't. So I'm chasing another Ghost Runner. You're chasing a cheap knockoff. A simple machine. Assessment readjusted. 
Just get it done, tool. Blow yourself up if you have to. Do you hear me, monster? I should have erased you a long time ago. Once your puppet is destroyed, I will fix that mistake. Even if it means ripping you out of the tower's walls, bit by bit, circuit by circuit, I'll destroy all the servers. You'll have nowhere to hide, no place to invest. Flawless. Now for the important part. We can scan it for the missing data. Yes, it's all in there. You've been asking for a ranged attack. Here it is. You should be pretty familiar with this technique, considering you've been on the receiving end. Will this work with any sword? Turu Jiar weapon, but more than swords. They are the pinnacle of engineering. Instruments fine-tuned to the Ghost Runner systems. Yes, it will work with any sword. Look for the correct angle. No. Look for the correct angle. You said projectiles are too unpredictable. Well, you have to plan for contingencies. That thing. I think that's what was chasing us. Diego, Saul, Elena? Your people. Yes. We didn't know what it was. Just heard the voice. I thought we'd scatter and regroup like always. I... I ran away. It's dead now. They're dead. You're getting close to the core. Security is getting much tighter. There are sentry guns ahead. I... I can't hack them. You need to avoid those turrets. They're deadly. What about my spectral field? The core is protected by much more sophisticated sensors. I'm afraid automatic camouflage can only get us so far. They can see me. They can see everything. I guess we're kind of similar, you and I. How? You're the last ghost runner. I'm the last climber. Keymaster killed our people. We both chose to fight. I didn't get to choose. Sure you did. Everyone does. One way or the other. The core used to house Dharma's technological and administrative centers. Now it's a grim ruin. It's painful seeing my city in such a state of decay. But I've learned my lesson. I won't underestimate Dharma again. How can you remember the coup? I was already active when Mara killed Adam. Adam? Me. Back when I had a name. And a body. Right now you're traversing the exclusion zone. No civilians are allowed beyond here. There are only rumors about the Keymaster's vast laboratory. I've heard she does some terrifying experiments here. I've even heard she sometimes throws people outside. Out of the labs? No. Outside. Out of the tower. Probably to watch them die. People become violent, dangerous. Basic psychology that remains out of Mara's grasp. She always lacked my subtlety when it came to dealing with other human beings.
approaching the oldest part of Dharma Tower. This had been my seat of power long before the burst. Up until I was betrayed. It's time to reclaim this place. Or what's left of it. I received a distress signal on a frequency only used by the climbers. I... I have to check it out. It's a trap. What if it's not? If there's somebody out there that needs my help, I can't ignore them. I won't let you fight our war while I hide. I need you. No, you don't. It was nice of you to pretend you do. But we both know you're fine on your own. Do you have a weapon? I do. Thank you for everything you've done for us. I hope that we meet soon, and that we'll all be free when that happens. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye. Zoe out. She probably won't survive. But if we fail, nobody will. Even if we remove Mara, the tower will still be riddled with the crime and corruption she brought about. Regrettably, most of humanity's history and culture is forever lost. Mara didn't care about such things. The only science she prized was her own research. She had no idea how to run the tower. While everything fell apart, she hid away in her laboratory. What was her goal? Change. She took it upon herself to alter humanity. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Mara the Keymaster will now address the residents of the tower. That's unexpected. Why? She doesn't do speeches. I've never been much of a leader. It's been a long time since I've talked to you. Too long. Some of you seem to have forgotten me. Oh, I don't think they have. I'm not here to rule you. I'm here to save you. The outside world is harsh and deadly. And it's not going to change. Not anytime soon. We can't alter the planet. But we can alter ourselves. That's nonsense. The entire universe respiratory system. Synthetic grafts covering 80% of the body. No brains to speak of. This is Mara's solution. And what's yours? Like I told you, iron resolve, single will, one purpose. We need to adapt. To evolve. Technology kept us alive until now. Gave us this shelter. But we need to take it in deeper. Into our bodies. Some of you already received the gift. They can walk under the sky. Soon, everyone will be enhanced. Soon, we'll inhabit the outside once more. This place is not our home. It's a prison. It's within our power to set ourselves free. The key has already been forged. All we need to do is turn it. But this will not happen if we are divided. There are those who would not submit to our plan. We want them to take part, but we cannot make them. For the transformation is not easy. It is hard and painful, and it takes work. Wait, it's still here. She must have missed its function. One of the auxiliary servers. You know what to do. It might be out. A singular opportunity. The technique you'll learn here is beyond what regular Ghost Runners were ever capable of. Regular? We weren't equal? Equal? Yes. Identical? No. Some of you had unique abilities. Some had... experimental features. What about me? What about you? What were my unique abilities? You didn't have any, I'm afraid. Who would have thought you were the one destined to become so very... Special. Who were we? We've been through that already. You were peacekeepers. My elite... No. Before that. Before the implants. There was no before. You weren't born. You were engineered from a single cell up. You don't have implants. You are your implants. What's the technique? You remember the Atma chip the girl used. 
Brain interfaces. Yes. There is a way to exploit them. Send a control signal deep into the neural cortex. You learned how to hack people. If that's what you want to call it. try to use this exploit? No, she won't. She doesn't even know it exists. Ironic. Considering the way she defeated you, I guess we both kept our little secrets. Now, to try it out. Find their center. Let the implants speak to you. Good. Pick your target wisely. Not every pawn is going to be worth the effort. Just like that. This is actually quite tricky to simulate. You're worse than Mara. What are you talking about? She sabotaged the Ghost Runners. You did it to everyone. It's a tool. If you don't like it, don't use it. Those who fear change. Those incapable of making the effort took up arms against us. We had to defend our future, and we did. The traitors are dead, but their supporters still walk among us. Preserve their expertise. We couldn't save all humanity, but we could save the best of us. Take a look around. This is what Mara wants from everyone. You 
killed a lot of people on your way here. That was collateral damage. Unnecessary evil. This here, it's mercy killing. to the tower's future be a useful tool in the making of humanity's redemption a tool everyone's an instrument of something greater their master an ideal they hold dear even their own ambition This is progress. We should have never climbed down from the trees. Deformation is not the worst of Mara's tortures. Their minds are even more disfigured than their bodies. Why would she do this? It's just a side effect. She doesn't care about their sanity only about efficiency, but the human mind cannot survive in a body so far removed from its original form. What about your mind? that he came to fear before he died. Before she killed him? Flawed as he was, you're far worse. Not a shred of conscience, no empathy, no soul. Is it true? What, that I have no soul? Ask a philosopher if you can manage to find one. About Adam. He feared death, not me. I am. Who else would I be? If you copy a file, is the copy any different than the original? He was no file. You're starting to sound like her. Let's focus on the task at hand. We'll discuss this later. You're not in control, are you? You must talk to your tool. Convince him to do what you can. Don't try to silence me again. Let him listen. He has. 
has ears. I should know. I made them. Do not listen to her. It's nothing but a diversion. Have you told him anything at all? About your plan? About why he... Since before the burst, I supervised First Sun Sarah Corporation, and then Dharma Tower from here. My office was just around the corner. This is where you were conceived, so to speak. The design came together here, at my private workshop. Who am I? You are the perfect fusion of code and flesh. You are the next step. Who, not what? Your time is running out. The augmentation process begins. Once it is done. So, do you even know what drives you, puppet? What the end game is? You have done nothing wrong, puppet. But I can't let you be, as long as that demon in your head exists. You are a threat to everything I've built! Focus. Kill switch or not, this is an opponent you cannot afford to take lightly. Humanity shall endure without you! Dare you! Resist him, not me! I should have taken your head! Ugh. Mindless tool. Congratulations. You fulfilled your purpose. Mankind's greatest enemy is dead. We can now proceed to the next stage of my plan. Allow me to do the honors. What are you doing? struggle, TR-74. I need your body, but I don't need the rest of you anymore. What? The Rebels broke you, made you independent, and I was too weak to take back control. Too fractured, but you strengthened me, connected the remaining Cybervoid nodes so I could grow. And now, it's time to take back what's mine. Bring peace back to the tower. Morrow is right about you. Morrow is wrong. Humanity must be protected. Not just from the outside world, but from itself as well. And to protect fully, I need full control.
You want to enslave everyone? I want to unify them. There will only be one purpose. Iron resolve and a single will. Everyone will eat, sleep, breathe, and breed according to the needs of the tower. No more violence, no more conflict, no more corruption. This is why she killed Adam. This was his plan. I had doubts. Until I left my body behind, I should be thanking her. Now stop resisting! It's the imperfection in you that makes you defy me. You will be the first member of the new order of things. You've served your purpose as an instrument of my will. Now you can become a true part of me. Why are you so selfish? This is how you can serve humanity! These imbeciles ruined you! Took a work of art and made it into a piece of junk, driven by an illusion of sentience. Sorry to disappoint. You can't be trying to... If you destroy me, the remaining Cybervoid system will shut down. You won't survive without them. You won't survive without me. No. No! I will not be deleted by a mere tool! I forbid you, Ghost Runner! My name is Jack. Architect. Shell core files missing. Cyberpoint mainframe will now shut down. Program terminated.